Yo guys, this is another video preview from ExtremeHardware.com. Today we're looking at the Inwin 901 series, uh, which is a mini ITX solution as opposed to the 904, which was um, a mid tower cabinet from the producer Inwin. We have analyzed a lot of different solutions from this. Uh, uh, brand. Um, for example, the Inwin H frame, the D frame, uh, the 904, and uh, a lot of interesting ones. So, uh, we highly suggest you to go to uh, extremehardware.com and seek for our Inwin reviews. Anyway, um, this is just a video preview, so we will show you the main features of this cabinet and uh, we highly suggest you to go to the main site and check the written review where you will find a lot of uh, interesting photos and details about this solution. So, um, these are the uh, dimensions of this cabinet opposed to the 9041. Uh, the 901, it has uh, 350 per 173 per 400 uh, millimeters of height. Um, the 904 it had 490 per 192 per 490. So um, the 901 it's a smaller version, but um, not so much. So it's uh, it's uh, it's able it's capable to. Uh, let you install a lot of uh, interesting uh, and powerful um, uh, VGAs and uh, motherboards. For example, now you can see an uh, Asus uh, P8Z77i Deluxe, which is a uh, very nice solution from Asus because it has uh, some vertical uh, VRMs, you can see right here. Uh, which makes you uh, overclock the CPU um, automatically. So we highly suggest you to take this cabinet with such solutions. Anyway, um, the 904 version, it had some problems regarding the uh, compatibility with, uh, for example, the CPU coolers uh, or the uh, PSU ones. Well, the 901, obviously, in such a uh, um, small uh, form factor, uh, standard, obviously it, it needs to comply with uh, such dimensions. So, for example, uh, about the CPU, uh, we've got a 30, uh, we've got 13.7 centimeters maximum for the CPU cooler. So we actually suggest you to install a top-down cooler or an AIO solution in the back. 13.7 um, opposed to 14.5 for the uh, 904, so uh, this one or the other one it's equal. Uh, you you can install uh, probably the same type of coolers here. Um, about the VGA, the 904 it had 360 millimeters, but here we've got a compatibility up to 31.4 millimeters. And uh, as you can see, I can insert two fingers in the side, in the right part of the VGA. So uh, this is a very, very nice uh, um, um, dimension compatibility with uh, VGAs. We highly suggest you to install uh, up to 4.5 centimeters of uh, um, height for a VGA cooler. Um, I'll show you right now. Yeah, the height. Um, if we uh, start from the PCB of the VGA, we can go up to 5 centimeters in the bottom part. So, this could be a problem with some aftermarket coolers, but uh, right now you can see an uh, AMD R9 290, which is a very powerful VGA. But a very long, uh, a very long one. So you won't have uh, uh, so many problems with this cabinet. About the PSU, the 904 it had a compatibility up to uh, 18 or 19 centimeters. But now in Win have um, uh, have made uh, an improvement in the sector because we can install up to 23 centimeters 
CP, uh, PSU. Obviously, we won't suggest you to go such a uh, hike. So uh, we suggest you to go um, to to, to choose a PSU up to 19 centimeters. About the fans, uh, we can in, we can see that in win have um, placed the 92 millimeters predisposition in the back, like the 904, and uh, 120 millimeter predisposition in the frontal part. As you can see, uh, you find. Uh, uh, displacement is uh, easily it's easily removable, and um, you can insert the fan. You need to use uh, obviously some screws to lock it down, and to reinsert the the fan right there. Maximum 120 millimeters, uh, which is the same for the 904. Um, in the back, yeah, for example, about the radiator compatibility. We, we see that uh, Inwin have, um, have maintained the same feature of the Nano 4 cabinet. Uh, so this is very interesting because we can detach this model and insert here or in the opposite way. Honestly, I don't remember. It should be this one or. Anyway, it's not important um, because uh, you can install a radiator up to 120 or 14 millimeter right here. Um, yeah, about the weight. This is a nine kilogram solution, as opposed to the uh, 12.5 kilograms for 12.25 kilograms of the uh, Nano 4. Um, another interesting thing is the compatibility with uh, the HDDs. Um, here we we have got two uh, slots for 3.5 inches hard drives, and there's a, a particular system a system that it makes you enjoy this cabinet a lot more. Because you need to install the hard drive in this cage, use four screws. As you can see, we hadn't any connector because it's uh, in Win have uh, installed uh, not swap, hot uh, swap, uh, um, uh, not swap uh, system for two hard drives, three dot five inches. So you can just lock the hard drive, insert in the main cage, push and lock it down. These for two hard drives. Obviously you need to remember to connect them from the back. Um, in this um, we'll find, we, we can see that we Installed or also a 2.5 inches uh, SSD in that placement, as opposed to the 904, which had two slots for the SSDs in a vertical placement. Um, so these are the main features of the 901 cabinet. Uh, we thank you for the uh, attention in this uh, video, and uh, we suggest you to. Uh, uh, like us on Facebook and uh, on Twitter. Thank you.